Paul went on three big trips. The first was around 46 AD. Look, we're drawing a line. Starting in Antioch, Paul sailed to the island of Cyprus, then sailed up to Asia Minor and visited the city of Perga, another city called Antioch, Iconium, Lystra, and Derby. Then he did the whole thing backwards. Lystra, Iconium, the other Antioch, Perga, then Atalaya, then sailed all the way back to Antioch, 1,400 miles. He must have used a lot of gas. But no, he was either in a boat or walking the whole way. I bet those Roman roads came in, Andy. They sure did. His next trip was much further. Around 49 AD, he walked to Tarsus, then Cilicia, Derby, Lystra, Iconium, Phrygia. That sounds cold. I don't think it was. Then up to an area called Galatia, and all the way over to another called Mysia, then Troas, and then he visited Samothrace, Neapolis, Philippi, Amphipolis, Apollonia, Thessalonica, Berea, then all the way down to Athens, which is the center of Greek culture, then over to Corinth, where he stayed for a year and a half, then Sankri, then back on a boat and all the way over to Ephesus, then all the way down back across the Mediterranean, all the way to Caesarea. Whoa, what a long trip. And then to Jerusalem, 2,800 miles. He must have worn out his sneakers. I think he wore out several pair of sneakers. And finally, a few years later, around 52 AD, he went on his third big trip. From Antioch, he walked all the way up through Galatia. That would make your feet sore. Then to Phrygia, and on to Ephesus, where he stayed for three years. That's a long time. Then all the way up to an area called Macedonia. Macedonia, I like that name. And back on another boat, all the way down to Corinth, then all the way back up to Macedonia. Again? Yep, again and then on another boat over to Troas, Assos, Mytilene, Chios, Samos, Miletus, Kos, down to Rhodes over to Patera, then once again back across the Mediterranean Sea all the way to Tyre, and down to Ptolemaeus, Caesarea, and finally back to Jerusalem again, another 2,700 miles. That's a lot of traveling. It sure is. It's like crossing America from one end to the other three and a half times and without cars or trains or planes, just his two feet and a boat here and there. It's pretty amazing what Paul did. And everywhere he went, he preached and taught people about Jesus. And the new Christians gathered together. They assembled together in groups in each town. We call these groups churches, a word that means assembly or to gather together. Thank <laughs> you.